Hey ladies and gents, this is the uh, Z-Tech. I'm just showing, I've got the adapter plate on there so that I can put a Kent four cylinder manifold onto it. At the moment there's the Cortina one, simply because the Cortina one doesn't have the linkage setups. I don't need them, so I'd rather go with the Cortina one because it looks smoother um, in a moment I'll get to the other setups and I'll put them on there as well so people can see what they look like with a, a rear wheel drive conversion for a Mark 1 Escort, Mark 2 Escort, Cortina etc um, yeah but I'll get the bits and I'll show you so back in a moment this here is with a escort manifold on it. This is what I mean about the linkage setup. Where the other one's nice and smooth. There's no linkage setup on the end. Uh, this isn't sitting flush at the moment simply because I've still got this set up to go on to the escort GT motor just in case. I did decide to go EFI or bike carbs on this, so luckily I can just go back out and bolt this on. Back in a moment. This here is the Z-Tech 2 Kent manifold adapter plate. As you can see it bolts in around the outside and it's got the bolts that come out so that these manifolds can simply bolt up to them, uh, really handy. Um, there is also the uh, wiring loom and ECU for a carby setup, either bikes or Weber or whatever. And uh, there's the original um, Z-Tech manifold and there's the ECU and wiring loom I got for that so that I can run it in the Escort and I'll be back in a moment with the bike carbs and here is with the Yamaha YZF1000 um, carbies on it. I don't think that air cleaner will fit under the bonnet so we'll be getting another one but um, yeah quite happy with that. Good stuff. So that's all right. Now I've got to make the alternator bracket. And I think that's about the last thing for this. So, now to get into that. Alrighty folks. That's that. Catch us later.